going on everybody Gavos here and welcome to this new video. Today I am reviewing Antergos Linux, a new distribution I am using. Let's get into it. Antergos is a pretty young Linux distribution based on Arch Linux. It aims to bring a ready to use operating system out of the box without too much effort. As many other Arch derivatives, Antergos includes a graphic installer whose name I refuse to pronounce. Anyway, this installer is very similar to Ubiquiti, the installer of Ubuntu, and it's pretty easy to use. However, it's not 100% reliable, in fact, it is still in development. Actually, I had some problems on my first install, because for some reason Grub wasn't configured correctly. During the install process, it's also possible to choose many options to customize our distribution to our needs. We can choose the desktop environment we prefer, or we can choose not to install one and what features we want on our system, like proprietary packages, AUR, LibreOffice, Bluetooth support and more. As the system boots, we are greeted by a nice custom grab theme. There is no play mount by default, and I think it's a great idea, since proprietary drivers always screw them up, resulting in black loading screens or ugly text animations. As the system boots, we are shown a custom themed like the M login screen. I didn't really like it very much, so I just installed GDM instead and it works perfectly. I chose to use GNOME as desktop environment and I got really surprised to find out how fast it is on a proper system. In fact, I was already using Ubuntu GNOME before, but it was often laggy, unresponsive and unreliable. Maybe because I had to add external repositories to the system to get a pure GNOME desktop and replace Unity optimized GNOME apps. Antergos offers a nice front-end for Arch Package Manager Pacman. It's called Pacman XG. It is multi-platform, since it doesn't depend on GTK Plus nor Qt, it just depends on Xorg. It is also really convenient. It searches for packages both in the official system repositories and on the Arch user repository, also known as AUR. It also gives detailed information on packages and this really helps a lot. Using Pacman XG, I found out it is actually really similar in many ways to Synaptic, a famous APT front-end. Theoretically, installing packages with this tool should be easy and safe, but you know me, I don't trust a graphical user interface as much as a command line, especially for important packages like NVIDIA graphic drivers. I asked on the Arch Linux IRC channel on Freenode how to install packages from AUR, and they guided me through the process. It's not something a regular user would do, but as you learn how to do it, it's a piece of cake. In the particular case of NVIDIA proprietary drivers, well, it's not actually that easy, but just because it requires more steps. Now, I won't explain this process in this video, but trust me, it requires a bit of experience and knowledge. But as I learned how to use it, everything got surprisingly easy. AUR is really one of the greatest ideas ever for computing. Basically, almost every compatible software can be found in AUR. I used it to install Google Chrome, Skype and Steam, even though this last one requires some more steps. One other great thing about Antergos is that, as Arch, it's a rolling release. This means that you don't have to worry when a new versions get released. You will always get the latest updates just by regularly updating your system. So guys, it is gonna wrap up the video, thank you very much for watching, I really do appreciate it. Please press the like button if you did and remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.